What's going on guys? Coach Ty from Athletes United Lacrosse. Today we're going to talk about recruiting and five mistakes that I see college lacrosse recruits making right now. <laughs> So the number one mistake that I'm seeing out of recruits right now is they're not doing enough research on the schools, okay? So it's not just enough to know that you have a Division One, Two, II, or Three college lacrosse program. We need to do a little bit of digging into the school. Do they have anything that you're interested in club-wise, activity-wise, uh, community service, on-campus, off-campus? Do you like the area? Would you be comfortable going that far from home? Are you interested in going to school in whatever state or town it may be? We have to go a little bit deeper into the research outside of just lacrosse. Number two mistake I'm seeing recruits make right now is with their email addresses. Okay guys, it's very important right now to keep yourself organized to make a new email address on Gmail, Outlook, or whatever you're using. I personally use Gmail. I want it to be your first name, last name, and graduating year. If you have to throw in a middle initial if it's already taken, that's fine. So for instance, mine would be Tyler Martin, 2013 at gmail.com because that was my high school graduating class. It's a great way to organize yourself. It's a great way for your coaches to know everything they need to know about you up front. Hey, here's one of our guys. Here's his name. He graduates in 2021. It might move you a little bit higher in the list if that's the class that they're looking at. So it's important that we do that. It'll help you stay organized. If you're using an old email right now, be sure to switch it over on your recruiting profile. Tell your club coaches, tell your high school coach your new email. And if you're already interacting with coaches, CC your new email address and let them know, hey coach, this is my new email that I'm using for recruiting purposes. Be sure to reach out to me there. It's going to help you guys stay organized as coaches are reaching out to you. Make new folders for each school. Throw the emails under there and keep yourself organized that way. Number three mistake that recruits are making right now is not creating a recruiting profile. Here's the reason why, guys. If you're reaching out to a college coach, you don't want to send them an email that's a paragraph or multiple paragraphs explaining everything about you. You want to have a one-stop shop where they can go and look at anything they need to know about you. Who you are, what your position is, what hand you are, who you play for, who your coaches are, what events you're going to be attending, you know, camps, showcases, whatever it may be, any endorsements. You want to have a one-stop shop for them. You want to have a recruiting profile, whether it's on Connect Lax, which is what we use with our guys when we do recruiting sessions, or any other service that's out there so that coaches can go and see everything they need to know about you. It's a lot easier for them to go on, see your film, and then go down and find your information than to read it all in an email, have to click here, write down who you are over here. Make it easy for the coaches. There's a million recruits out there right now, so make it easy when they're going on to see all of your info in one spot. Number four mistake that college lacrosse recruits are making right now is not proofreading their emails. Guys, when you're reaching out to coaches, this is the most important piece of any of the mistakes we're going to talk about today. If you want to be a student athlete on a college campus, on a college lacrosse team, you want to make sure that you're coming off as extremely targeted and thought out when you're sending emails, which means we want to double, triple, quadruple check our emails and messages before we ever click send on any of them. For a college coach, when they're receiving a ton of emails, something as small as a, a blatant typo, you know, um, a, a misspelling, whatever it may be, will really stand out to a coach. So I want you guys to make sure that you're going through, and before you ever click send, don't rush into it. Make sure you're checking that email over, you're proofreading it. If you need a parent to look at it, why not? Um, we really wanna make sure that we're careful in that regard. Number five mistake that I'm seeing college lacrosse recruits make right now. They're not selling themselves. At the end of the day here, this whole process comes down to how well you market yourself as a student athlete, more so than just how you are on the field as a lacrosse player. Of course, college lacrosse coaches want to fill their rosters with guys that will make plays up and down the field. But to them, it's just as important to fill their roster with guys that you know, are just as good student athletes and model citizens off the field. So it's going to come down to this. First and foremost, the books. Your grades are going to matter more than they've ever mattered in your life, quite frankly. Same with your SAT and ACT scores. You need to take all of that seriously. Who you are off the field as a person matters just as much here, too. Um, you know, making sure you're involved in the community, making sure you're a leader on your team and you lead by example on your team. Your teammates, your coaches, the way they speak about you is going to carry a lot of weight to college coaches who may have never really gotten to sit down and talk to you or have met with you once or twice but are still a little curious on who you are as a person. So this comes down to a few things, guys. Taking care of everything on the back end and then when you're communicating with these coaches, being diligent. 
If a coach wants you to reach out in two days, you reach out in two days. You don't let that slip to three days. If they tell you to fill out the recruiting questionnaire, you get that done as soon as possible. Anything that they lay out for you is important because they're basically giving you a roadmap in how to stay in the running as one of their recruits. So let's make sure we're diligent there. Let's make sure we're always selling ourselves and we're taking care of everything off the field to make sure that we're looking as good as we can to these college coaches. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it if you feel like you got something out of it and subscribe to our channel for more lacrosse content. If you need help with the recruiting process, we're here. It's a service we offer at Athletes United Lacrosse. Reach out to us at info at athletesunitedlacrosse.com for a little bit of help with your recruiting process.